Hello there, and welcome back to Red and Gold Politics. I hope, you're, I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm going to be talking about the state of Mississippi. Mississippi is a state that Donald Trump won by about, six per, by about 16%. Most polling places listed it as safe to likely red. However, other than the District of Columbia, Mississippi has more African Americans living in it than any other state. Since African Americans voted about 88% for Biden, this may leave you wondering why Mississippi wasn't more competitive. With such a high population of African Americans, you would think Mississippi would at least be a bit closer. Georgia, another southern state, two states over, went to Biden and the Democrats, went to Biden and the Democrats with 5% less minorities than Mississippi. So why is Mississippi safe red? First of all, we are going to talk about Mississippi's recent voting results. Anyone who knows politics knows Mississippi is a safe red state. However, when Barack Obama was running, some polls had it as a likely state. They are not completely wrong either when you look at this. Depending on the margins you use, Mississippi went to Romney by 11% in 2012. That's barely safe with my margins. This is a big shift to the left compared to the 2008 results. John McCain won Mississippi by about 13.2%. So from 2008 to 2012, Mississippi swung about 2.5 points to the left. Most election experts thought that trend would continue. They thought Mississippi would be a battleground in 2016, especially when Trump was the Republicans' nominee. However, the state shifted right by about 6.3% from 2012. Trump won the state by 17.8% in 2016 and 16% in 2020, a shift to the left for sure. But still, five points more right than in 2012. So what undid those, le those left-leaning trends in 2012? Well, simply put, turnout. As you can see, Hillary Clinton did far worse than Barack Obama. In 2012, the closest Mississippi was to being a battleground state, Obama received 562,949 votes and 43.7% of the popular vote. Mitt Romney received 710,746 votes and 55.2% of the popular vote in Mississippi. Looking at 2016, Hillary did far worse than Obama. She only received 485,131 votes and only 40% of the popular vote, while Trump got 700,741 votes and 57% of the popular vote. Clinton got almost 100,000 votes less than Obama. Of course, the state would swing right. Trump did worse than Romney, yes, but only 10,000 votes separated them. While conservatives were energized by Trump, African Americans and liberals were not energized by Clinton or Biden for that matter. Biden did a bit better, but still didn't get the turnout needed to make it close. This leads me to believe Mississippi has the capability to become a battleground state, or maybe even the next Georgia. However, the Democrats are just leaving their supporters out to dry in Mississippi. Almost no money was spent in Mississippi, and I don't think Biden or Clinton even campaigned there. But I personally believe that Mississippi could go down one of two paths. Path one is mo path one is one that most Democrats don't think about when they talk about Mississippi. Most Democrats don't realize that African Americans in Mississippi are very religious and more socially conservative. I wouldn't be surprised if in 20 to 30 years, Mississippi is actually more red than it is today. With Democrats becoming more and more socially liberal, they're alienating some of their supporters. African Americans in Mississippi are Baptist, who mostly vote Democrat because they still see the Democrats as the Democratic Party of the 80s and 90s, socially moderate and fiscally liberal. If Republicans played their cards right, I could, see, I could easily see Mississippi's African American counties going red in the future. This would make Mississippi be a red state for a while. That's the best case scenario for Republicans. The second path, and best case scenario for the Democrats, is that the African American vote in Mississippi trends further left, like in 2008 and 2012. The only way this could happen is if they get a candidate who could energize the people of Mississippi. I'm not sure who could do that, but high energy is the only way Mississippi goes blue. With this high energy, Jackson or Biloxi, I believe it's pronounced Biloxi, could see high growth in the future similar to Atlanta. With more liberals and minorities moving into the state, these cities could become the next Atlanta and help the state go blue. But right now, neither Biloxi or Jackson is growing much, so I'd say this is a pretty slim chance. I'd say the future of Mississippi depends how much the Democrats really want to win the state. If the Democrats do make a push for the state, it has the demographics and numbers to be a very competitive. However, I believe the Democrats will focus more on North Carolina, South Carolina, and Texas, as these states are closer right now and have more electoral power. This, may, this leads me to believe Mississippi will stay 
will stay red for a long time unless something drastic changes. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.